Hello and welcome to this video on preparation and planning. In this video we'll go through exactly what a SMART objective is and how you can use them when you study or revise. And we'll also give you a few rapid fire tips that you can use to help plan and prepare out your study sessions. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please give us a like and subscribe to our Snap Revise YouTube channel to see the rest of our videos. So let's start with understanding what a SMART objective actually is. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant and Time Limited. So a SMART objective is an objective that satisfies all of those criteria. For example, Without SMART objectives, you might say something to yourself like, I want to revise for my exams and think you've set a good goal. However, this objective is too vague and it isn't SMART because it's neither specific, measurable, achievable, relevant or time limited. And as a result, it will be very difficult to track your progress and see whether or not you've achieved your objective. A good objective would be in this hour session, I want to revise the components that make up the GDP formula in economics. This objective has a specific focus, and you can measure whether or not you've learnt what you've studied afterwards by testing yourself. Because you've set yourself an hour to do it in, you've therefore given yourself a time limit, and you've also set enough work to make sure your objective is achievable. Because you've picked something specific to economics, you've therefore made it relevant. Therefore, your objective is now SMART. Because this objective is SMART, it makes it much easier to track your progress and see if you have achieved your objective. Using this framework will allow you to split out your revision or studying into more manageable daily or weekly goals. And as a result, you'll be able to track off your progress and see what you have and haven't studied and what's left for you to do. We're going to end this video with three quick tips to help you prepare for your study sessions. The first is to make sure that you have everything you need with you before you sit down to study. Whether that's snacks to keep you going, water to keep you hydrated or stationery to keep you organized, make sure you have everything you need before you sit down so that you aren't tempted to get up and get something else. The second is to start your plan as early as possible so that you can get started straight away. Now, your plan doesn't have to be set in stone, but the earlier you start, the more time you'll have to change and adapt it if you find that it's not working. The third is that once you have your objectives, make sure you plan out exactly when you're going to do them. Managing your time becomes even more crucial in A-levels than it was in GCSEs and so managing exactly when you're going to tick stuff off is going to be key in making sure you get everything done. And we'll have another video on this specifically in the future. We want to hear from you and if there's anything that you'd like us to cover in this video series, leave a comment on this video and we'll do our best to add it in. And that's it. If you like this video, you can find much more from us on our YouTube channel and you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram to get daily study tips, test questions and revision content. Thanks for watching the video. You can download the full revision handbook from the link in the description. Click here to see the next video in the series and click here to see the rest of our YouTube channel.